Hi, this is Kim Watson speaking of Easy Trader. Uh, this is an update for 31st of October 2013. Uh, just before I uh, run into the update itself, just a date for your diary. If you're not currently a member of our uh, trading room and would like some free access, uh, particularly for those people that come and joined us at the London Investor Show, we've got um, two days in our diary that we put there for you to come and trial it. So that's the uh, 13th um 13th and the 14th of november so uh, uh it's a couple of days in the diary for you there um if you want to come and see it come and see what we do um you will need to email sam at easy trader that's uh, sam sam at easy trader.com and in due course she will send you some details about how to come and join us for those two days Okay, let's have a look at the markets. And as you can see, the euro uh, yesterday, uh, we managed to get into a short position from the FOMC uh, news. And uh, currency still sitting in that at the moment, hoping that uh, we may see a bit more sell off in the next day or so. Um, it's in interesting how you can try to ch change a short term trade into a bit more of a swing. And currently, I'm a little bit bearish on the euro for a couple of reasons I mean we had some divergences running into uh, the euro uh, previously um, whoops get right figures on here had a couple of divergence divergence diverged sort of moves coming in okay we popped in a bit of highs it went a bit higher at that point but um, more important thing, thing here is we've had some news out which has not been particularly good US based particularly yesterday we had the uh, ADP figures coming out for the employment figures. It's okay, it's only a thermometer, you know, barometer, but thermometer, whatever, barometer of uh, what may happen um, uh, with the main non-farm payrolls, which we've got to wait another week for. But it uh, they they were quite a miss and uh, quite disappointing. Yet the the euro barely moved. It moved up about ten or fifteen pips on the bad news. Now you would have expected the euro to come up a bit a little bit more than that and perhaps and uh, most likely it was already priced in that it was it, i mean i was expecting a poor adp figure uh and i hadn't done any analysis on it just purely because the uk government uh, us government shut down also then we had the fomc come out and everyone was already expecting it to be quite dovish so there wasn't to be any positive surprises or is it is unlikely to get any positive surprises which would be in uh, or negative surprises which would have pushed the euro up so we didn't really see the euro move from that too much either and we in fact it sold off from it uh, with the fact that there's still seen as some signs of growth all that may may soon change in the US but uh, uh, hopefully those signs of growth will continue and we'll see uh, a push up for everyone but for now the euro is coming off uh, we have got potential support on the daily 21 here and maybe the 34 which with the prior highs across at the same sort of level so um, so there are some areas of support down there that uh, they are quite nicely under where we are at the moment if, if you're already short from our news stories of course okay um, so uh, that's my outlook at the moment now it's nowhere near overbought from any time frame or the bigger time frames at the moment just bring it down to 40 uh, four hourly uh, bit of support going on here uh, overbought oversold rather um, maybe getting a tad on the four hourly but uh, any bounce on that we've, we've got plenty of wiggle room in there now uh, to see us through that to hopefully uh, run down to uh, the low MAs okay um, so um, looking reasonably bearish on it at the moment uh, of course uh, things could change but uh, for now um, I should stick with my bearish outlook there euro uh, cable rather um, Yesterday we put in a much smaller daily range. Today and, and with the same goes for Euro today. I don't expect much more of a range. Actually, Euro beat my expectations of range, and that was partly on some um, lower factor news coming out, which just knocked the Euro a little bit more. So I'm not expecting the uh, cable to do too much today. It may just stay within the range. It may get down to its lower uh, lower levels and maybe even come back down to the pivot. Still haven't tested the uh, daily p uh, daily 50 MA, which uh, to me is a obvious point of uh, support along with the prior lows there, really. So uh, we may get a bit of support off that area. If it does come down, it's always, we've still got quite a bit of day to go today. 
and of course tomorrow we've got the uh, PMI manufacturing figures which will be trading in the morning so maybe maybe that may give us a push down to there if they, they don't come out so well um, with with cable of having pulled out of that original rising channel it diverged it's still looking a bit bearish to me as I say the 50 it seems like a key area to be running for uh, dolly yen dolly yen is got in itself into a bit of a chop uh, we were talking about it this morning uh, we have one guy who specializes in them and the rest of us enjoy them anyway but it potentially can I do a, uh, a a Gartley pattern um, a short would come in around these sort of areas actually uh, let's pop it on for you hopefully you saw that on the recording there sorry I just realized I used the wrong pen but not to worry so we're looking I use the right pen this time at around about that 786 around about 9972 if it gets up there uh, over the next day or two, three, um, as a sh as a short potential um, for that. So that's just something to watch out for, uh, as much as anything else. But at the moment, if it doesn't make it and it starts failing to the downside, where we could still uh, run off down towards the uh, 96 area here, or maybe even beyond. 96 of these previous lows here. We actually we haven't tested these again, so we could yet come back and test these lows here at 96.63. So, but we it's just consolidating at the moment. The dollar yen just needs a good bit of news or something to kick it into play. Okay, uh, euro yen then finally. Um, right, okay, we almost double topped again yesterday. Um, if we had double dopped, topped there would have been some divergence with it, it's come short of that um, it's taken it quite a few days to get anywhere, it's stepped up relatively weakly effectively um, this, is, uh, this is like an old candlestick pattern chart now if this close is somewhere near the low uh, around about 133.84 we could see a break of this uh, this old rising channel that's been sitting there for ages it had a little test of it before maybe we'll see a bigger break of that there's certainly the potential um, if it does run to the upside and start breaking out well uh, th there is possible there is a possibility well then we've not got a lot of uh, resistance above there uh, may want to run all the way uh, up further but we have, of course to bear in mind with all these currencies we've got the p new monthly pivots in and price is pretty close to those pivots so it may be just a draw uh, tomorrow uh, or, the, or on Monday uh, for some tar easy targets to be aiming for okay that's it for me um, as I say just a reminder uh, for the uh, those people that are not currently trading with us in our tr uh, trading room it's open free of charge uh, for the 13th and 14th of uh, November hopefully we've got some data coming out then as well so you'll see some news action going on uh, and hopefully some positive tra nice trades but we'll see what happens okay that's it for me take care bye for now